What is up, Need for Speed Racers? It is I, your wheelman, Alex Cornut, and we're here with the Ferrari F40, the Blacklist Specialist. This whole week, I've been giving you guys the tools. We started in A, got you the RSR, went to A+, got you hooked up with the 4GT. Now, I've got you the Blue Collar Specialist. This is a carbon copy of what Cube runs a 152 on Blue Collar. He's really fast. I've got the tape. I'm going to show you what his run looks like. I'm going to show you what my slower run looks like. Many of you guys know my favorite car is the 1971 Skyline. I do a two flat on blue collar in that car, which isn't record breaking, but that's, that's where I'm comfy. I'm much slower in the F40 because I'm not used to it. But if I'm going to give you a build video, I'm going to show you how to drive it, or at least how I drive it. So we're going to give you a couple different takes on blue collar give you kind of a track guide on what you're looking for, what to set up for, my best way to bring you through it, and then we're gonna show you Cube's lines and you can just go DJ and try to figure that out because that guy's an alien. But regardless, I'm giving you the tools because I wanna see everybody show up, do Shapeshifter to 605 and enter that blacklist. We've already got 10, 12 guys in the pool. That pool is stacking up every day. We are adding more to it. More and more guys are getting their qualifications in and we're racing. And once you get your wins in the pool, you get to go enter the blacklist and actually get numbered. And so it's tight. We're having a lot of fun with that. Our community is growing out of control. We're new, adding new people, 10, 15 new people every day. And it's just getting awesome. So come hang out, join the Discord, get on the blacklist, start running Shapeshifter, use this car for blue collar, and enjoy the game. Let's dig right into it. I think you guys are really going to like this build. So... For the engine, you are using the Iron Basic 3.6 liter V6. It is the first motor in the stack. For the parts, you are running the Elite Platinum Induction. You are running Gold Super ECU. You are running Gold Super Fuel System. You are running Silver Pro Exhaust. You are running Elite Platinum Twin Turbos. That's what Cube does. That's not how I would have built it, but I'll follow the master. Sport Bronze Nitrous Elite Platinum Road Suspension Silver Pro Brakes Elite Platinum Grip Tires Iron Basic Clutch Sport Bronze 4 Speed Transmission Elite Platinum Differential You can get away with the Bronze You can actually run none but do you guys as long as you can get 100% grip run any differential you want to pay for I always default to Elite Platinum for the auxiliaries in this car you are running nitrous grip and nitrous drift allowing you to get those micro drifts I'm going to try to kind of show you how we do that try to kind of show you in those turns it's not the easiest technique to get but if you're running fast it's good to have those down consistent for the handling portion of this vehicle, to the left, full Beyonce, 100%. Steering sensitivity, I run two clicks high. A lot of the guys, Cube included, are running this low. They're on the back side of things. So you do whatever you think is good, you guys. I have a controller that's kind of specific. I have a little taller thumbstick, and my thumbstick resistance is a little stiffer, so I can kind of set it where I want. That's why I think I can get away with two clicks high. It's comfy for me, but really, guys, maybe back that down. Try it in this area. Try it there. Run the low side. See what you think. For the downforce, go all the way high, back it off two clicks, one, two. That's where I'm running it. You can run it all the way over here if you want. You can run it all the way down. Do what works for you. Honestly, maybe there. There's a lot of different spots. Run it all the way low. See what works best for you guys. I run traction control off. Drift entry, I do brake tap. Some of the guys do gas tap. I'm bringing you the car. You need to hone it in the last 5% for what works best for you. If you're used to high downforce and lots of grip, run it high. If you're used to low downforce and a little slide of your car, run it low. Guys, do what works best for you. Full disclosure here, this is not a corn nut build. This is not my build. I believe Koi's and Cube run the same build because they were hunting the same times. And so this build's out there. Other people have released it. I'm not copying anybody's. I asked Cube, hey, what did you run on that blue collar time that you set on 152? He said, this is it. I'm bringing that to you. 
if the fast guys are running this that's what you need to be running it doesn't matter who did the build first i don't know exactly it doesn't really matter these guys could have got it from a spreadsheet i don't care i'm bringing you the tools so you have what you need to be fast because that's what we're about over here watch the gameplay footage it's only blue collar today you guys i'm gonna show you my run slow pace in the skyline i'm gonna kind of talk you through different things what i look for in the turns then i'm going to show you my run at pace in the f40 it's not a flawless run it's not a crazy run but it's decent pace pace enough to get you on the blacklist and then we're going to show you cubes time the third race which is him blowing the doors off a of blue collar running a 152 just silly stuff thank you guys for tuning in like and subscribe if you haven't Check the Discord and the linky down below. Come and hang out with us. We'd be more than happy to have you. We're filling it up, and we're getting it going. The Corn Up Blacklist is live, and we want to have you come and chill. Thank you guys so much. Have a great rest of your day. Watch the footage. Bye-bye. All right, race one. We're taking it easy here. Just going to keep the music in the background a little low. Show you what I'm doing here. So this is the straightaway you want to line stuff up on. This is where we launch. When you're running shapeshifters, you're going to be launching, going through the gears. In the skyline, you got to shift quick. You got to get through the gears. If you're running auto full throttle, make it happen. Use all of your boost. If you're in the F40, you're going to be in second, third gear through here. You want to slow down on entry. You want to micro drift this corner if possible. You want to stay on the tarmac right about where the car is set up and then boost straight through here. Take a degen line through the grass. Line up with that next checkpoint over there so that way if you get airborne, you're still going to fly through it. You stay kind of to the right side here to avoid traffic. Grip this corner. As soon as you get your grip turn, accelerate and use it to get out of that corner and into this one grip this corner or micro drift if you're micro drifting use that boost the moment you get it to accelerate out to get into the next corner with this you want to stay as lined up as possible stay on the tarmac to use your grip stay tight through here there's sometimes traffic line that up accelerate cut hard to the left get in the grass shoot straight through here and line that up then the grip corner that you just got use the boost through here you're accumulating speed. Now in this car, in the uphill section, I stay in sixth. This thing only does about maybe 150, 160 in the dirt. Keep in mind guys, I'm off pace here. I'm not using my boost. I'm not using a ton of nitrous. I'm just trying to go at a nice pace that I can talk you through it. As you enter the pavement here, sometimes you're gonna have a yellow from getting air back there. Use it. Cut tight through the left right here and cut a straight line for this next one. You're gonna get a grip turn. You're gonna use that on the exit, boom, right there, and accelerate into the next corner. As you come up to this corner, you're gonna to wanna to hit the brakes, downshift, or just hit the brakes and begin to drift. Get that micro drift, accumulate that boost. Save the boost for this corner. Use it on exit. Use that acceleration and that speed to get into the next one. You will have acquired a grip turn and have boost for this corner. The idea is you chain each one of these corners together so you have boost in every single one. We're using that boost to get out. We're accelerating down the hill, going good. Like I say, you guys, I'm not doing record times here. I was just taking it easy. That's a 213. That's really only about five seconds slower than what a decent pace would be for this. You guys want to shoot for 208, 205, sub 205, and you're really in the money. Let's move on to the F40 run okay blue collar in the f40 now i do this at pace i entered a s playlist i didn't do shapeshifter because i was just trying to queue up with one person and so uh there was a couple of people that joined but regardless um they're not there very long i launched the car in fourth for you guys running shapeshifter you won't be able to pre-launch so start in first get into second run second out get into third you're going to carry third till about here maybe a little later shift into fourth right around 140. as you enter this corner you're going to break tap you're going to micro drift. You're going to get a drift and a grip turn. See how I use the boost to cut a straight line through that section. I'm going to back it up. I want you to see that. Boom. Straight line through that. The cars accelerate the hardest when you're running straight. You're going to take what you get here and you're going to use it in the next corner. That traffic was in my way, so I wait. I save my yellow boost till I get here. On the exit, boom. Fire it off. Use the boost to turn a little sharper and get out that grip turn i save for this corner bad line went a little wide i use it to recorrect and accelerate i use two different yellow boosts to get up to speed and carry that through this section 
Now running in here, I hit the brakes, I downshift, I get a nice tight line, use the boost to accelerate out. There's a more yellow boost right there. I use it through this section to get back up to speed. Every corner, you guys, use the boost, chain it into the next one. You need to have your grip turns down. You need to have your drift turns down. It's important. Accelerating up the hill, just stay on pace. Do whatever you can to cut a straight line through here. You don't want to get too off kilter. Use the yellow boost that you accumulate from that air time if you can stretch it out as long as you can and use it right at the end to get back on the tarmac. Now, here we're going to cut our yellow boost and cut in. You want to stay tight through there on the tarmac if you can or to the left hand side, whatever you got to do. We're using our boost on exit to keep our speed up so that way we continue the momentum. Nice and tight there, getting a micro drift. Gonna use that boost on exit. Boom, right there. Now I got off chain. I didn't chain my boost together. So I'm losing time in each one of these corners because I wasn't able to keep my yellow boost going. It's not until I get here that I'm able to use it on exit and then it award me another one. I use it right away because I knew I wasn't gonna be able to save it to this corner. So I'm going in this corner dry. Typically you'd wanna hit yellow boost earlier than that and get back up to speed. But regardless, we're running pretty fast. It's not a bad time. I run a 204, plenty of mistakes, there's lots of room for improvement you guys. You should be able to do anywhere between 205 to 210 on this track without too much of an issue. Let's see what Cube has for us. Alright, let's watch Cube's time, it's insane. The guy is unreasonably fast. He launches in third, once again you guys will be running shapeshifter so just run through the gears. He's running single player more consistent so you can get lots of tries he's got kilometers per hour so i have no idea what that speed is in freedom units micro drifts this corner collects that boost uses it then gets a grip turn uses all of that up to speed cutting a nice tight line through here God, he's flying uses the boost on exit like i was telling you guys that turns it also into a grip turn he's going to save it for this corner Uses it on entry, does a Tron turn, and then uses that grip to get up the hill. He's chaining it together right here, getting a little micro drift, so that way he has a three bar going into that corner. That's the difference between him and I. I'm barely using yellow boost, and he's using it on every single corner on entry to get through really, really fast. So he is using all of his NOS, all of his boost. He's got another three bar, using it up the hill. God, he is perfect obviously this is a very fast run so not unreasonable to think that look at the line he's carving very exciting to see this you guys if you've not i'm going to link his uh, youtube channel down below you can go look at some of his times or watch this one over if you'd like you'll see that he's using that yellow boost on entry to the turn after he hits the boost he then hits the handbrake and points the car while it's still boosting we call that a Tron turn. It's more of an advanced technique, but it allows you to really, really grip turn very sharply and still carry a ton of speed through the corner. It's a difficult thing to master, but once you've got it down, it allows you to do things like that. Cuts a degen line through the hills, straight for the finish. That is gonna be a 152 on blue collar. Cube does it different, you guys, and he's on my blacklist, so you have something to work towards, 152.58.